get skilled, get hired. At the Fred Eberly Technical Center, the future is now. Located just off Route 33 in Buchanan, West Virginia, the multi-acre state-of-the-art facility serves high school and adult students in 12 different trades and three post-secondary programs. Students enrolled in Fred Eberly graduate prepared and certified. In the Allied Health, upon completion, students will be eligible for certifications in phlebotomy, EKGs, CPR, first aid, and OSHA. In automotive technology, students will be skilled in analyzing and repairing all major systems in the automobile, including ignition, engine, computer fuel, brake, electrical, AC, and drivetrains. In carpentry, students are taught all phases of residential construction, including use of power tools, blueprint reading, foundation, framing, interior and exterior finishing, plumbing, and cabinetry. In computer repair, students learn the basic skills needed to build and repair computer systems. In robotics and drones, this program provides knowledge and skills necessary to develop, operate, and maintain robotics and drones. In collision repair technology, students learn safety practices, tool and equipment, welding and cutting, metalworking, forming, frame and unibody, refinishing systems, metal finishing, and collision repair. Students will be eligible for licensing through the WV Board of Barbers and Cosmetologists as students learn skills, attitudes, and practices required for careers in cosmetology. In diesel equipment technology, high school and adult students can learn the care and use of tools, diesel engine construction, truck systems, fuel systems, engine overhaul, troubleshooting, and electronic engine controls. In HVAC, students are eligible for certification in EPA refrigerant and NATE. Students develop a knowledge base and technical skills of heating, ventilation, and AC industry. In electrical technician, students are eligible to earn the State Journeyman's Electrician's License. Students learn basic theory in Ohm's Law, blueprints, residential wiring, appliance, AC, and National Electrical Code. In welding, state certification is offered on-site for high school and adult students. The class teaches oxyacetylene, arc, MIG, and TIG welding. It also stresses blueprints, layouts, and safety practices for tools and equipment. Students are often certified to get salaries well over minimum wage, even stretching into careers with salaries into $70, $80, $90, and even over $100,000. The future is now. Get the skills you need to get the future you want at the Fred Eberly Technical Center. All right, my name's Andrew Morris. I'm a senior from Philip Barber. My name is Logan Schreiber, I'm a senior from Philip Barber. And I'm Taryn Thomas, and I'm also from Philip Barber. To start out with, give us an overview of the class. In the class, you learn how to make weld, stick weld, um, tick weld, tick weld. You get to do a math class every, every Wednesday. What all have you learned while participating in this program? Um, you learn a lot of math that's specific to welders. You learn how to uh, weld in different positions and different um, processes like MIG, stick, and TIG. You can get your certifications coming out of here and go straight to work. Plus, you can take internships. One of our students in this class is taking an internship right now. So he's getting paid and ha has time in the workforce and it has the class. Is there anything else you guys want to add about the class? It's a good class to get into. I would recommend it just because you can go straight out of here and go to work if you want to instead of going to college. But it's up to you. I think it's a very good class to have. Uh, welding is a very good uh, process or trade to learn because it's in everything that you can do. Here with uh, Mr. Currents, Scott Currents. All right, Mr. Currents, uh, what do you teach here at Fred Everly? Uh, I teach collision repair. Do you mind to give a brief overview of the program you have here? Yeah, basically what we do is anything to do with the body structure of a car or a truck. Um, so if you imagine if you pull the drivetrain out of a vehicle, um, everything else is what we do. That could be paint, that could be um, sheet metal repair, plastic repair, um, glass, interior stuff. Thank you. Am I here with? I'm Mr. Cunningham. I'm the carpenter instructor at Fred Everly Technical Center. So do you mind to give a brief overview of the program here? We do residential construction, uh, framing, uh, foundation layout, uh, siding, roofing, just about everything there is to do with uh, building a residential house. Uh, it's a two-year program. Um, we have a math credit embedded into this class also. Um, it is for high school students and adult students. And uh, we welcome anybody who want to come here. Hi, I'm Takai Bidet and I am a junior.
Hi, my name is Emily Lips. I'm also a junior. To start out with, give us an overview of the class. So this is Allied Health and Therapeutic Services. We're combined this year. We usually would have two separate instructors, but we're together this year. Um, they're both one-year programs, both involving the medical field. Um, Allied Health is like medical assisting, taking vitals, stuff like that. Um, therapeutic Services is CNA, like long-term care, like things like that. What all have you learned while participating in this program? Well, we've learned a little bit about drawing blood. We've learned a little bit about um, blood pressure, blood sugar. We've learned a few medical terms. Right now, we're learning the skeletal system. I enjoy being here. I think it's better, like, it's just like a different environment. It's a little more relaxed. You kind of work at your own pace. You get the English credit while you're here, too, which is nice. It's easy. I mean, it's just nice being here. More than being treated like a kid, you're treated like an adult. Um, you have a lot of responsibility here. So that's like, it's readying you for when you go out. It's basically practice. And I really like it because it's getting you ready. Well, it appears to be a very busy day here at Fred Everly. Who am I here with? Ron Roach. I'm an instructor here at uh, Fred Everly. I've been here about three years now. And um, before this, I was a, a truck driver with UPS Freight for 36 years. Alright, so what does the CDO class entail? Well, we just um, bring them through the free trip part of it and uh, the skills and then we run around the course and buck handed. Uh, my name is Charles Smith. All right, do you mind to give me a brief overview of diesel technology? Uh, we pretty much start with the fundamentals and uh, so basic stuff, tools, uh, torches, welders, and then uh, through the first and second year we go from start to front to back on uh, buses, trucks, everything that's in them. Thank you. I'm Tom Dorico. I'm a graduate of Lewis County High School. I'm Trevor Waycaster. I'm a graduate of the Canada High School. I'm Matthew Adams. I'm currently attending a Buchanan High School. To start out with, give us an overview of the class. We study HVAC, heating, air conditioning here, and uh, we go over commercial, residential, and small appliance. What all have you learned while participating in this program? I learned a lot about the insides of a air conditioning furnace. The HVAC is not going anywhere. Uh, air conditioning is used everywhere, even in places you may not think. And uh, there's really good money in it. Everybody wants air conditioning and even heating. You know, always, everybody wants to be warm in the winter. Who am I here with? Braley Arnold. And I'm Mrs. Moss. Do you mind to give me a brief overview of the cosmetology program here? Okay, you can start out in high school and come as a junior and senior and during your school day. And then once it takes 1,800 hours to become a cosmetologist and be able to test. So after you graduate from your high school, you can come back into the adult program to finish those 1800 hours and prepare you for your state board exams. I really like this program. I get to do a lot of stuff like hair color, hair cutting, just, I just really enjoy it. We also do waxing and acrylics. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brady Mill and I'm from Barber County. Okay, so to start off with, give us an overview of the class. Um, basically your first year you learn about residential stuff, so like everything you find in a house. And then now our senior year we're moving into uh, like motor controls. And, yeah, we learn how to do uh, industrial work and commercial. I mean it's, it's kind of fun, it's not too hard. You learn a lot from Mr. Lowther, but sometimes it's just like you learn it by yourself and the students help a lot. It's a lot of fun and I mean you make a lot of money in the end. Hi, who am I here with? I am no actually a part of the robotics team here at uh, Fred Everly Technical Center. Hey, well, thank you. So, do you mind to give me a brief overview of the robotics team here? Um, well, at robotics we build robots, obviously, and uh, as uh, we also work on like projects for the school. Um, we do we do some IT work. We fix computers, things like that. Nothing like you know that kind of stuff. All right. Hi, who am I here with? I'm Willie Abel. Uh, what is your favorite part about working in the automotive technology here? 
Um, we get to learn skills on how to work on our cars and eventually possibly be able to work inside a dealership. All right, so what are you guys doing here with this engine? In basic words, the engine block, uh, this is the engine block and there's a lot of uh, broken stuff around it and we're taking it all apart so we can get new stuff on it. Yeah, we've broken, you know, it's having Because this ain't just the engine. Like right there is your Cadillac converter, the alternators. Like there's, a, that's why it's stuff called the block because there's a lot around it that Over ain't, there's ain't the working. Over there is the that was holding the engine in the car. Yeah. So it's on an engine hoist right now so we can take uh, the transmission off of the engine block and then get some new parts on it and hopefully the Toyota will turn over. Hi, I'm Rebecca Call. I've been here for six years. I'm in the first quarter of my seventh year. All right, so what is your job title here? I am the director. All right, so do you mind to give me a brief overview of what that job entails? Sure. Um, basically, it, it's like being the principal of a school. Um, and so we serve three counties, Barber, Lewis, and Upshur counties, and with high school students. And then we have adult students who come here from all over the central and eastern, some of the northern part of the state as well. So I'm the principal director, um, make all the financial and recommendations to the Board of Education to, which is our administrative council, to hire our teachers and help get them everything they need to give the students the best education they can. All right, so what do you love most about your job? I think what I love most about Fred Everly Technical Center is um, the excitement that I see in our students and our staff when they come to work and school every day. Um, we are an elective program, so we don't have you don't have to be here. 99% um, of the folks that come every day want to be here, and that makes it a great place to work. Um, they are passionate about their industry. We have trades, we have healthcare, we have technology programs, and everyone is passionate about the program that they're in. And 80 to 90 percent of them go out into the world of work or they go on for further education in that area. So we're hoping that we're helping make dreams come true for the future. Um, the one thing I will say is we're not for everyone, but we are for anyone. So I think that's what's the best thing about being here. All right, well thank you. It sounds like a great program. Thank you.